Hello, Ethan back again with another update video, this time month 5. So this month I changed from making bilingual sentence cards to making monolingual sentence cards. So what happened is I came across a phrase, uh, it was like bakaye, and it wasn't in the bilingual dictionary. So what I have to do is do a Google search and I found the Daijisen definition of it and it said, you know, it explained it in Japanese and I was able to understand it. So I decided to look up some other words in the monolingual dictionaries I have. I've got like Daijisen, Daijirin on uh, Quolibri and a lot of the definitions I could understand Maybe they were like I plus one or I plus two, some dictionary words and just some words in general I didn't know, but most of them were totally fine. So maybe I decided to just change it because my bilingual deck, which I used for like the last month, maybe up until two weeks ago, it was like a bilingual deck, uh, had like a 99% rate of retention. It was like two easy in a way it was just like not very engaging to just have the sentence it's i plus one english de definition it was kind of just boring for me to be honest and i was getting like 99 percent, and it was not very engaging so i switched over to monolingual so i'm making i think about like oh, roughly 10 monolingual cards a day but that's pretty loose sometimes it's like eight or seven depending on how many branches i have to make the branches is probably like 20 a day probably like 20 a day branches because it's like, maybe not 20 a day, actually, maybe that's wrong. Maybe it's more like 15 a day, 10 a day, 15 a day, something like that. So I've got like 10 monolingual cards, 15 branches, put them on, put them on a document, like a notepad document, uh, find the monolingual definition. Uh, okay, what words do I not know? Make, uh, make bilingual sentence cards for the words I don't know. Uh, study the bilingual sentence cards first and then the next day study the monolingual sentence card because you want to know the branch, you want to know the words in the definition before you study that word monolingually with that monolingual definition. So that's what I've been doing and it's really fun. It's really, really fun and like it's, ma it's definitely making my reading much better because I'm reading the dictionary and reading Japanese more when I'm reviewing, uh, I'm learning more words this way and on top of making the monolingual transition I started reading like one hour a day so I'm reading like light novels usually like one hour a day um, and yeah my reading's getting better and what I do is because I've got like Kindle and I live in Japan it has like monolingual lookup and you can just highlight sentences and in the book let's say there might be two sentences that I think maybe could be I plus one. I'll just highlight them quickly as I'm reading through it. And then I go back and I look through and I, for each page, I'll choose like one sentence. So some pages there are like two or three sentences that I think are I plus one for me. And I've got to just choose one, which is most interesting or whatever. So that's my method at the moment. So maybe I can show you now, actually, I'm reading like a, not very interesting book like like i think uh so yeah for example here if you can see there's two sentences that i think are i plus one and i've got them color coded so i can just go back and just i have to choose one of those and add it and uh the kindle's great because maybe one word here is new for me which word is new for me maybe it's i can't actually see actually but, uh, yeah, for example, I think it's like Han, Han, I have, I know Hanzai, I know what it means, I know what this word means, but I haven't actually come across it used like that. And there's a, if you can see, there's a monolingual definition there from the Japanese dictionary, so you can read that in like real time while you are studying. So, yeah, the Kindle's great for that. It's good. And, uh, so I've been doing that like one hour a day, but... I like I enjoy the reading like the light novels I'm learning a lot of new words and like my reading is definitely improving the only problem is like a lot of the 
light novels are pretty boring. Like, they're obviously made for, like, high school students. And it's like, this novel's about some, I don't know, some demon or something that's like thousands of years old and he's looking for this picture book and like he's they're all on a bus and like he's like bus jacking the bus and he's got like a revolver out and it's just kind of like uh, you know maybe when I was 14 that would have been interesting but I don't think it's very interesting for me now but the reading is on my level so I'm reading it uh, so if you have any like light novel recommendations definitely let me know because yeah the ones on the Kindle store and stuff are kind of boring to me I quit another one I quit Overlord because it was just boring to me. It's just like RPG stuff. It's like I don't play like MMO, MMO RPGs or whatever. So reading about playing one is like extremely boring to me. So I'd rather be reading something else. So I might just I don't I might just try and go for novels instead because just the content is more interesting. So if you have any recommendations for light novels, please let me know because yeah, I could really do with them. And then also like this month I've been like I don't need English like I'm just like okay when I go to sleep I'm listening to the Harry Potter audiobook for like 10 hours so like I put on the audiobook I go to sleep I wake up the audiobook still playing so I'm listening to Japanese while I'm asleep now uh it's not really uh that I think it's really good for passive listening it's just like a mentality thing like okay I go to bed I'm listening to it I wake up I'm listening to it uh yeah, I haven't been watching any, like, English TV shows, English movies. I haven't been watching any English YouTube videos or anything. I have a separate YouTube account, uh, all Japanese. Um, the only the only English video I saw is, like, the interview with Tokyo Sam this week. That's it. Uh, that's it. And then I also have, like, a separate Twitter account. So I've got, like, my Twitter account, which I, like, tweet maybe, like, once a day or twice a day, but I don't actually spend time on it. I have a separate Twitter account. This is all Japanese stuff. So I just read Japanese Twitter. And so I've just kind of abandoned any kind of English stuff. Like, I just realized it's just a habit I picked up. Like, it's more comfortable to consume English media. I don't actually need to do it, you know? It's just a habit. So I'm just trying to grow out of that habit and just make my environment totally Japanese. Uh, but it's not like I'm torturing myself. It's like I enjoy doing it. It's just... You know, if if you have an English YouTube account and then you just look at your phone and next thing you know, you're just watching something, but you didn't have any intention of watching it. So it's just removing that from my daily life. That's really it. Um, That's really everything, I think. Uh, nothing else special to say. Maybe... Yeah, yesterday I had to go to the ward office and I had to renew a document and like I had to output for that and it wasn't really difficult to be honest, compared with before, you know, before maybe, maybe if I went like six months ago or something, I, I would have like, there would have been times when they were like, what are you saying? Like, what do you, what do you want to do? But it was like pretty straightforward, you know, oh, I want to review this. Oh, sorry. I want to renew this and I want to get this document. Okay. Did you do this? Yeah. Do you still live here? Yeah. And then get it all. And it was fine, you know, and I didn't have to repeat myself for anything, which was great. You know, usually, like, I'd say something and they'd be like, what are you saying? Like, can you, what, what do you mean? Like, but it was none of that. And, um, I made one mistake. I said, furikonde tameni. And I should have said, furikomu tameni. Which is going to haunt me now till my grave that I made that mistake. But, uh, I was able to correct myself, like, in real time. So, that's good. So, yeah, I'm not purposely going to output, but it's just, I had to do it. And, you know, it went much smoother than definitely went much smoother than it would have like six months ago so that's good so yeah that's really it so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how i make my monolingual cards because maybe it'll help you out and maybe i'm doing something wrong and you can give me some advice so yeah take a look if it's interesting to you okay so what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the how i make some monolingual cards so over here i have a just a notepad document and what I've got here is I have sentences that I've taken from some of them are from my sentence bank that uh, I use on Anki it's full of just subs to SRS cards from different things I've watched and so for example here let's choose one so what's good here what would be a good one maybe where was Maybe, for example, here, Aijin, because I've only got one branch on that. That's maybe a good one. So, I, Aijin. So, what I do is I've got Quo Libri, 
and I've got the NHK Pitch Accent Dictionary, Daijisen, and uh, Daijidin, and there's one other English dictionary. I just use those four because I don't want too many different de definitions to look through. So let's put in Aijin. Put that in. Sometimes you have to put in the hiragana, not the kanji, for it to come up. And then what I did was I just copied, I think, the first two is it yeah the first two definitions we've got the pitch accent information too and copied it over here we've got that there so we've got the definition two definitions here this definition was like not difficult to understand except for this word here i didn't know it's like isse isse uh opposite sex which is a bit strange it's a bit like a dated definition i don't know if you can read that but basically it says like uh especially a deep connection with someone of the other sex which a bit dated. LGB people might be onto that pretty soon. Get in contact with Taijirin, not me. And uh, so, yeah, we've got that definition there. So I don't understand isse, isse. We can type it in here. Maybe my, I do have a English dictionary here, a bilingual dictionary. Might come up. So isse. Uh, no, actually, no, it didn't. So, it, oh, it did. It did. So you can see it here. So isse, the opposite sex the other sex. So I made a this one because it's a branch from my monolingual definition. We'll make a bilingual card for that. So, and then we got the pitch accent. I took the pitch accent information here as well from Daijiden. So we can see in Daijiden it has the pitch accent information for it uh, here. So you can see it's the same. I took the pitch accent from Daijiden. So, what you want to do is, if you watched Matt's video, you know Matt made a video about the monolingual transition. What you want to do is, you want to make the definition for your target sentence monolingual, and then any words in the definition you don't understand, make a bilingual card for them. So I have separate decks here, but uh, I mean, you don't really need to make separate decks. I've got mo monochan, so that's monolingual. Uh, Ewa. Is it? Oh no, why it? Why it? English or Japanese to English bilingual. And I've got a. This is my branches, Jisho no Eda. My branches. So, what I do is first, you want to put the branches. You want to make a card for the branch first because you want to know the meaning of the definition when you study it the next day. So, first, we'd want to input the definition. So let's say we've got our definition and we want to add it. What you want to do is you want to have a card for it. So for, we can put in the definition first. We can put in the meaning, the bilingual meaning. Put that in here. And what do we do? Well, this is Heiban. So actually, we want to do, we can do it for Ghana. Hang on, I'm going to cut this, put this over here. And then to make it Furigana, we want to use brackets. So we want to get rid of these dictionary brackets. We want to put in our own brackets. Oh, well, hang on. No, not that type. The, this type of bracket. Get rid of that hyphen. Then that'll appear like Furigana above the kanji. This is Heiban. So Heiban, I color green. I've got like four different colors. Heiban is green in this case. So make that green. In my case, anyway. So, yeah, we've got isse. So we, what we want to do is we want to find using the green website. If you know the green website, I'll find it now. It is... This is it. So this website has a lot of uh, example sentences. So it's called the green website on the resource sheet. It's like the scuba some kind of scuba site for some reason so to do with the scuba university and then what you want to do is we can take this word so we'll go isse and so isse go to the website put that in search it up so there we go, we've got isse, and we've got like 10,000 different sentences. Now what's really interesting here is it shows you the usage of that word. So you can see like isse ga, isse o, isse ni, isse to, and you can see like how many sentences. So these two are like the highest use. So like maybe isse ni is like most common. So you can click on that, 
and you've also got like which word it would normally be attached to is like 93 times so we can see now moteru moteru Mm, don't haven't really come across that word before. Iru is usually comes up a lot because it's like shteru, all those sorts of words it's usually connected to. So you want to find a sentence here where it's I plus one. It say is I plus one. So um, these don't look that great. What about these? So look suru. That one's, that one's I plus one for me. You could also just go to this one, O, oh, which is really common. Naru, O oh, naru. Isse o ski ni natta no da. That's really easy. So that's a really easy I plus one sentence for me. So I could just copy that. Put that in my expression here. And just hit tab. It'll come up the reading there. And then that's it. That's your the branch for the dictionary so then that's done so what you do is you would add that and then you'd study it today and then what you do is so maybe here I can show you something useful so let's say let's X out of that so like I said I've got this sentence from a sentence back and the sentence is using Aizin Aizin so let's have a go let's go back to Anki and then I've got two profiles one is my normal profile which is this and the other is my sentence bank profile. So you don't want to sync up like hundreds of megabits of files. So you can have a sentence bank profile and has all sentences in here. And then what we can do is, so this is the sentence, right? So I got it. So if I type in like, there might be a few sentences like this. Yeah, there's a few. And it was this sentence. Yeah, I did this got. So what I'll do is, copy that from my sentence back just copy copy the sentence and then go back to my main profile and then what I'll do there is just tools cross profile search and input so someone on the discord made this lookup uh, extension for Anki and it's super good so it means you don't have to have all your sentences on one profile you can have that extra sentence bank profile and just look it up so cross profile search and import uh, it was in Cowboy Bebop, yeah, that was it. And I want to import it into, not into this file, I want to import it into my monolingual deck. Just type in, that's the sentence, filter, it searches, that's it, import, okay? So now that's in my monolingual uh, deck. So browse, can look it up. It's going to be subs to SRS format, right? So it's in this subs to SRS format, so it looks like this, right? It looks like this. Uh, but you can change that. So what we're going to do is, yeah, expression, we've got expression. Uh, what we want to do is convert this to custom Japanese, which is Matt's much better layout. And then sequence marker, nothing, don't need that. Audio to audio, snapshot to image, I made an extra image field. Uh, video, nothing. Expression to expression, meaning to meaning, reading to reading, notes to nothing. Okay, that's it. And then what we want to do is, you want to just hit tab, got the Japanese support extension, which just automatically gives you the furigana and the reading. And then we want to take this meaning, we're going to take this definition, just copy, paste. Again, this is Heiban, so hang on, I'm going to cut this, move it over here so we can get the furigana. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Why is it? Oh, I've got the Japanese input. Hang on. And da. Da, 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 da. Okay. And yeah, again, this is Heiban. So we're going to color it green. A lot of Heiban. Uh, that's it and then what you can do is because mad has this reverse section so right now this would be like a normal card so this would be like uh what is this oh this is the reverse is it this is the basic okay so we've got you can see and you can press audio and then you would see the sentence and then you would see the 
definition of meaning here like this. Okay, but if you put in a one, it's going to make two cards. So it's going to make that one that you just saw, that sound card, and it's also going to make a reverse card in your deck, which is like this. So you've got the reading on the front, so you can also read it. You have a reading card, and no sound, so you can't play the sound. But when you answer, you've got the yeah the reading and the meaning again, and then when you answer, you can hear the sound. So you got two cards. You got one sound card, one reading card. And that's it. That's what I'm doing because it's really good at reinforcing. And, you know, you want your listening to get good, but you also kind of want to make sure you're getting the reading, the kanji into your head too. It's good to have both. So, yeah, that's what I'm doing. So that's about it. Oh, so yeah. So that's how I make my cards. And, uh, just in case I didn't say it, because maybe I forgot to say it, is like you should turn off uh, auto sync on Anki because you don't want that to automatically sync all your sentence banks because you that's hundreds of megabits and you just don't need to do that. You only need to sync the stuff you want. So turn off auto sync if you're going to make a sentence bank and then use cross profile lookup and search. Bring it into your main profile that you're using and then you can just sync that manually. Just press the sync button. And that's what I'm doing. Yeah. So, yeah, thank you very much and see you next month. And yeah, if you have any light novel recommendations, novel recommendations, definitely let me know because I would really appreciate it. Uh, thanks very much.